Mojo. Today is still January 11th, fourth video log for today, and I've been talking about dogs and cats for these past you know, few videos, and I'm not too sure what else I actually talk about. Um, I had a baby crow, a little chickadee, or chicken, baby chick thing. Um, rabbits, guinea pigs, a rat. Hamster, fish, salamanders, different bugs in a jar. Cats, dogs. Yeah, I had a lot of different pets in my life. But a lot of the times I've been gaming a lot too. Biking around, fixing bikes, you know, repairing bikes and swapping parts and fresh to color paint, my own style of paint and then helping to fix other friends bikes and even when I got older I'm fixing community cats bikes and you know repairing bikes just to just for the hell of it you know whatever I make on it whatever I put money into it then you know, sell it for what and then, then I'm not really making anything else back sometimes just making or just you know building or rebuilding or building from scratch just for the hell of it when I'm you know, bored and stuff so I had my share of you know different bikes I have a lot of different bikes in my, my life one bike I've had for such a long time now it's uh, well I think it's going on five years maybe maybe five years Going on five years. I think so. I think going on five years. But anyway, I'll say five years. And I keep it indoors. And I keep it, you know, when I do chain up, it's not too far from me. I'm not too that, not that long away from it. And I always have in front of the cameras and stuff. And it's got me, you know, from A to B pretty quick. And it's been real, really reliable and stuff. But before that, I've been off the reserve a lot of years. Inside of 10 years, I've lost 10 bikes a year. They get borrowed and not returned. They get stolen. Uh, they get you know, run over, somebody smashes into wherever that bike's at or where it's sitting and st stuff like that. Um, most, of the, most of the bikes got stolen. That's stolen from me. So I, used to, I was losing 10 bikes a year for 10 years. No matter how I locked it up or how I didn't want to let somebody borrow it or where it was for it to get stolen, either chained or not. I lost so many bikes in 10 years. Then when I actually saved my money for an actual bike with papers instead of buying from a pawn shop or yard sale or friends saying I need some money and you have this bike and then some of them you know, taking it back saying no, I didn't they did I didn't they didn't sell it to me or end up it's stolen or something like that. And a lot of bikes that you know get stolen from me about 50 or more of those bikes I have reported as stolen and the numbers and all that stuff on there and cops can't find it, cops can't find it, cops can't find it. By the time I'm at around 50, between 25 to 50, cops are just laughing at me. You know, they're, they're legitly laughing in my face. And then I went to, the last time I went to a police auction, it was, it was probably about seven years ago seven or eight years ago anyway right around there and about 10 to 15 of those bikes that I do recognize were mine and I didn't have the, the paperwork with me I didn't lose my paperwork and stuff like that and it's like I reported that there because I know that I was fixing this and that that's changed that doesn't belong in there and I know that some of the parts over there is uh, supposed to be uh, on that thing and I put the horns over there on that thing and you know there's a lot of different you know bike parts uh you know 
that I've been working with and I know what, I, what I've done, what I've worked on. And they said, oh, well, from our records, uh, you didn't report any of these stolen. So I was like, yes, I know what, what parts of what. And so they like, oh, anybody can come here and say, you know, they own this and they own that. And it's like, and it was like, he goes, we're not going to give you a bike unless you got papers. Like, I lost my papers. I reported the stolen. We talked talk to the, uh, the police station that I have reported uh, uh, the different times. And I've lost, like, like good 25 to 50 bikes. And then there's some people are... Some of the cops are laughing again, you know, laughing at me. And so they go to the call the police station. It's like, oh, well, there's nothing really to do now. It's in the police auction. If you want these bikes, and you're going to have to bid on it. It's like, really? So I had to bid on, like, the, 20, the pile of bikes. There's, like, I think they're between 15 and 25. There, a pile of different bikes all there. And there was bids going higher and higher. It's like, I didn't have the money, and I couldn't keep bidding, and... It's like, wow. And, and, and the bikes were going pretty cheap. They were like going a dollar for the, for, uh, I thought it was a dollar for the pile, right? The pile was saved, there's 25, uh, 25 bikes. A dollar was nothing. Then it went up to 25 bucks. And then somebody like whispers like, you don't want to do that, you don't want to do that. Because it's a dollar per bike, or it's like uh, this much, or $10 per bike. So. 10 times that, and I'm like, like, wow, that's that's a lot. Like, it was dollar by 25, you know. Now going to, you know, like 50 and all that stuff. And, well, I think it went to like between 20 and 25 bucks. Are you on there? Say 20, 25 bucks. And then somebody got a good score out of it. That was a lot of bikes. I mean, even if I won that. 20, 25 bucks. There was there was no place to bring it anywhere to store it in the city. I would I would pay for those bikes and I'd be fixing anything and everything and you know probably trying to resell and stuff like that. But wherever I have it, it's going to get stolen. People know you got a great amount of something and they can sell something quick. They will take it from you. They will take it and there's nothing you can do about it. So like I said, I mean there's. Those bikes there are laughing at me, saying I don't uh, have papers and reports that it's stolen. And some of them are there in there, and it's like, well, uh, they're it's already in there. We can't do anything about it. And you no, know, towards the end, uh, one person was help, uh, hearing me out, and they gave me a couple bikes. Nice, just free, a couple bikes. And not only that, they gave me the choice to, to choose from it. Now I wasn't going to take the best, which I thought was the best. It could be, it could be looking like the best, but running the crappiest. So I ended up, you know, a fairly good bike, and it was a good name brand that I knew. And I don't know if I had a bike at that time or not. I always had bikes, though. I always, I always had bikes. Um, I can't remember. I think I just said, "Hey, you know, drop it off of here, and then I'll put one away, and then." See if there's any fixings need to be on one, and I ride one and uh, go back and forth. And like I said, not too long after that, I didn't want to, you know, losing the bikes anyway, and either borrow or somebody stealing it or whatever, you know. But I know I had this one bike, I haven't had, I had it for a long time. I do a lot of biking, lots and lots of biking. Well, I did a lot of biking until. Bike crash of 2007. That wasn't that bike though. I, I, you know, I split my helmet in half. Uh, I think it was this arm. Yeah, this this arm here was in a sling. Broke the elbow here. Um, elbow? No, elbow. Is it this one? I don't know, it's on Facebook, guys. Check out Facebook. Go check out 2007. That shows the, the pit holes on my legs, the blood coming out of the pit holes. My arm in a sling. My, the cracks in the helmet that's split now, because I put it back together. And the, the, the skin part, the, the skin part came off, and the, the, uh, the hard styrofoam split in half. And I had a sore neck and shoulders and uh, broken elbow and dislocated kneecap and it was like that for a while. I, was, I couldn't sleep for a long time. I had to sleep sitting up because 
the uh, the arm on my chest when it was going laying on my chest, it would it would be sore and I couldn't straighten all the way. And I had I had to keep in the sling. I tried keeping it on the sling, and it was too painful that way too. I had to sleep sitting up. It was it was painful. But um, I don't know. I had my share of bikes new one too. I had also had a moped bike on the reserve. I rode it for a little bit, you know, with a little bit of gas and stuff. I did a lot more pedaling gas and that, you know, it being a heavy bike and, you know, pedaling with my, you know, my legs a lot. Even on the reserve, I have my share of bikes. Let's see, I've had, you know, I have five different bikes. Uh, one, you know, and then, you know, breaking down, breaking, broken axle, broken frame, and broken forks. One one and broke the forks. Because some of you did ghost ride it and hit a stump and then they broke the forks and they're just laughing and <laughs> and then some of them like it was uh, had to upgrade from 12 speed to 15, 18 speed, something like that, and then in different styles and then it, and my dad was doing 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 crafts. I was selling my dream catchers to the guy he had bike parts and give him dream catchers and get bike parts and fix my bikes up and then fix up another bike and then fix up another bike and then end up selling a bike and then bike got stolen and then I ended up getting another couple more bikes riding another bike and riding around them when I left it was chained up to a big antenna tower thing that was embedded into the ground and it was chained up to that tower all the time I mean when I left my dad and had to cut the chain off and it was like double changing, dragged the, the, the bikes because it was so rusty and they weren't moving and they ended up, you know, scrapping those bikes. And when I left the reserve, I just didn't worry about it because when I got, got to the city, I got myself a bike. And I'm riding around a little bit here and there and doing my own thing. And I would always ride across the whole city daily, 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 always daily riding across the city and, and doing different things and, you know, like going to little parties or going to friends or gaming or hanging out or going for a bike ride to the beach or whatever it is. But like I said, I've had my share of bikes. But this bike here isn't the best. It gets me A and B. It's been through a lot of crap and now it's been st stepped on and stomped on and um, a, lot of things, a lot of things going on with that. Uh, I was going to say no. I had a bike better than that before. I think it was three to five years. It was like a thousand dollar bike. I got it for two hundred and fifty, and I brought it to the reserve. I showed my dad that the bike used to fold up and it would go underneath the bus when I was taking the bus to go see my dad. And somebody broke into the house and stole that bike. And that was a really good bike too. It was a fantastic bike. So anyway, I am at the end of this video now. So if you guys do like this video. Please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. May share this video and channel with my benefit, my benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for this video. Tell me you guys watch it. Hope you all have a nice day and more of your night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.